internet, it is time for another plan with me and today I have something a little bit different. I always use Etsy stickers, that's kind of like my go-to when I do plan with me's and I thought I would change it up just a little bit. If you watched my last video then you know that I got a bunch of Happy Planner stuff including two sticker books and I thought I might actually try using both of those books for today's plan with me. So here they are and I haven't tried this yet but my understanding is that these might just be a slither too narrow for the width of the Erin Condren boxes and I think I'm okay with that. I think I can just deal with that because there's just so many great stickers to use here. And I thought this would just be a great alternative for those of you who maybe don't want to be purchasing Etsy stickers because let's be honest, they can get pretty expensive after a while. So these, I can't even remember how much these books were now that I think about it, but I'll leave links and prices down below. So if you're interested, you can pick these up. I had these shipped from the Mambi website, me and my big ideas. So the official website and the shipping to Australia can be a little bit on the pricey side so look out for that or I know there are other like local retailers that might sell this if you're in Australia but if you're in America then you're in luck because I found similar books in Michael's so the craft shops there so that should be super easy for you to get to so the week that we'll be planning is this one right here as you can see I've got it's a bit of a mess of post-it notes so this is the week this would have been this past week because I'm filming it right now at the start of the week but by the time you see this video, it's probably more towards the end of the week. That just gives me some time to edit it and edit a few other things. I know that a lot of people preferred seeing it at the start of the week so they could see what I was doing for the whole week. It just meant that like this part was very stressful for me because I had to prepare for work and then also edit the video. So I thought if I did it at the end of the week, that might be a little bit easier on me. But let me know if you have any preference either way. This week work-wise is going to be a pretty heavy week. You don't really see it here. You might see like this one here. This is just reminding me that I have a really early start Monday because I'm starting a big eight week sort of engagement at work and this is the first week and it's a bunch of sessions that I'll be running with someone else and so it's just a lot of stuff, a lot of late nights so yeah. I'm hoping that doesn't impact YouTube or any of my fun stuff, but we'll see. First things first is I usually do the bottom strips, but I've already been through these and I do not think any of these books have bottom strips. Just because the Happy Planner itself doesn't have a bottom strip. So I'm going to have to go old school with this and go back to washi tape. So I'll be right back. I think I'm going to use this one. I actually picked this one up in my Japan haul. So it seems appropriate that I actually start finally get to start using it. So I'm going to do the bottom strips and I'll be right back. Okay, so the bottom strip is done. I'm going to put down a quote box for the top here. I'm just looking at my available selection. I think I'm going to go with this one. Your vibe attracts your tribe. I kind of like that concept. So I'm going to... Put this around, see how this goes. Cool, but that looks pretty good. I will do the rest of this later because I don't know what sort of sidebar stickers I can use. So I'm just gonna go straight into Monday. Okay, let's see, what sort of labels do they have? Okay, and the more I think about it, I think I'm gonna have to really break the mold in how I traditionally plan because I don't think I can put the headers down because I just don't think there are any headers in these sticker books. So I'm just gonna have to wing it as I go along and hope it turns out okay. I'm not sure why I didn't think this through before I decided to film this video, but now I'm a little nervous. So let's see how we go. So I'm still on my Royal Milk Tea Kick, so I'm going to put that down. Let's, I'm gonna put down a to-do list. So I'm gonna wipe this out. The how thin this actually is, so how far from the edge I can be. Actually, that would have fitted perfectly if I'd done it over the line. Wow, I thought they were supposed to be thinner. Or maybe, is it the Erin Condren that's thinner? I can't remember now. But great, I have a to-do list down now. Okay, I can fill that out a little bit later. I might put some stickers into that. And I want to have a little... Okay, I have to do this, but I did want to put down a little reminder. Put a little priority sticker down because I do have to start pretty early on Monday, so I need to make sure I do go to bed on time, or maybe even just a bit earlier tonight. Okay, that's confusing me now. Why is this one a little thicker than this one? 
This is just shy of a little bit, and this one was perfect. Hmm. I kind of like this sticker here. She who dares wins. I'm going to put this over this section here. No. More curious to see. Okay. Okay, so this one actually fits perfectly. <sighs> the inconsistencies are going to drive me insane. <laughs> and then I will mark down the our TV date night. This is really strange <laughs> that there's like so much space and I feel like I need to put something else there but then at the same time I'm like you don't always have to put stuff there okay you know what I'm gonna just put it here I know there's a bit of white space at the bottom but I think I can actually I think I'll just leave it as is and fill that out later okay so Tuesday same deal actually you know what it's gonna be the same every day so I'm gonna put down my little milk, royal milk tea cup across the top of all of them. So that's done. So Tuesday, I'm gonna put down this beautiful foiled sticker right down the middle. Hope it fits. <laughs> Perfect. It fits so beautifully. Love it. They have these really cool like lunch stickers here, but they don't have any dinner stickers. And that's what actually I'm really looking for because I do have dinner with friends. So I think I'm just going to use it anyways and then I will just cross it out maybe later and replace it with dinner. But I'm going to put that down here for Team Hope. Oh my goodness, I am struggling so hard with this. I mean, I know, I don't know how long the video is, but I've been sitting here, like, in between, I suppose, when I'm talking, just trying to figure out what could I put down. I think I'm just really not used to the Happy Planner stickers, so I'm just never sure will this fit. Like, usually when you're using kits and you're very comfortable with kits, you can roughly eyeball what will fit where, and so you can kind of make allowances for that. You can't do this here because it's just so... Um, it's just so foreign, but I'm gonna persevere. Gonna wipe this out. Oh, man, I am not having luck with whiting out recently. And I'm gonna put down this to-do sticker. Um, I think I'll put it down a bit lower. There we go. Here. And then I might, I'm not sure, I wanna overlap this area was stuff, but I might look at that later. I'm just going to try and put down a basic structure first, just so I can get my head around it. I've got to get up really early on Wednesday um, because Tobias needs to... He's got some passport stuff he needs to do, so... And we go to work together. At least we drive in together. So I'm going to actually put this right at the top. I should have done this for Monday because I kind of like how that really signifies how important the day is. And then I'll put my little... Royal milk tea thing down there. Okay, so I'm actually going to try and put a to-do list down. Actually, one thing I saw, they have these to-do lists, but based on time of day. So this is like a busy afternoon, and I think I saw one for like busy morning, and there was like a busy evening one. So there's the busy evening. I don't usually like to plan based on like times, but I might give it a shot. See what it's like. Try something different. I don't usually plan based on times because I always disappoint myself. It's more, I think I plan better when I set myself high level goals for the day, like I must accomplish this. I, oh no, eek, oh, whoops. I'm happy to say these stickers do seem removable though. <laughs> there we go. There we go, much better. I just had too much space down here. So that would be my evening, but this half is just dinner anyways. But that's cool. I will say the thing I've noticed a lot about the Happy Plan stickers is there are a ton of inspirational quotes everywhere. And I feel like maybe that was the intention. I mean, that now makes sense why it's called the Happy Planner because it's happy. But it's kind of like, even on the example here, there's a lot of space to do, like to put in a, like motivational quotes and you get it girl and that sort of thing. Oh, I feel so silly when I say that. I think I'm just gonna go with the flow and actually follow suit. So I'm gonna throw in some motivational quotes throughout the day. Happy place, that's so nice. 
I used to do this a lot when I first started planning and then I had too many plans so I couldn't fit them in anymore. <laughs> I think I might put down a to-do list. These ones are very tall though. I wonder if I can just cut them down. I think I can. I think I can just cut it in half and then I can use the other half on another part of the week. Cool. I'll wipe that out. I saw in my last plan for me video someone made a comment about how then I should get the new I'm not gonna I can't do this. Sorry, I'm just gonna have to leave this messed up because I just cannot it just keeps pulling up. Um, in my last plan for me video, someone made a comment about how I should get the neutral planner because they got rid of these bars so I won't have to keep whiting it out. That is exactly the planner I got and that is actually the reason I got it because I'm so tired of whiting these bars out because they don't fit in my planner. And I just think I waste so much of this when I actually probably don't need to, so <laughs> yes. Read by mine, that is exactly the planner I got, the neutral. Um, I did get the watercolor one as well because I know they've changed it up a little bit and I'm kind of curious to see what they changed and just see if maybe it's more functional because I do love colors at the end of the day. So on Thursday, I have a dinner as well. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that same thing I did before where I took the lunch sticker <laughs> and put it down at the bottom. Yeah, I'm going to do that and try and be creative with changing it to dinner potentially. There we go that's dinner plans down there and I guess I'll just work my way up this time oh I like this see this is exactly how I tend to work I think of like the top two three goals I have for the day why am I not just using this <laughs> oh Selena you crack me up my whiting out game is not on today not on actually before I do that I'll put this cute sticker down and then under that I'm gonna put down my top three things to do for the day and then I am gonna put down this quote sticker and hope it uh, doesn't fit <sighs> oh man that sucks because I thought that would be a really good one it said don't stress do your best and forget the rest I thought that would be really cool but nope doesn't fit it's a bit too big I'll put down a focus sticker so put that here put it more in the middle I do have a bit more white space than I'd usually like, but it is the first time I'm planning with these stickers, so don't stress. I should have put that. I don't want to put the okay. game. Even though this doesn't fit at all, but that is totally how I'm feeling right now. A little bit stressed out about this plan with me, so I'm going to put this down there. Don't stress. It's very fitting. Okay, so Friday. I'm going to put these, I think, are technically the headers, except as in like the headers that you'd put at the top but I suspect they are not as wide yep <clears throat> they're definitely not as wide so you have some gaps on the side hopefully that's straight and then that other half of the checkbox I had I'm going to put it right under that I think if you're a no white space plan with me sort of person planning with these stickers probably would make you feel very uncomfortable because you do nothing like, I think the thing that appeals to the no white space plan with me people, and at least that's what makes me happy about it, is that everything fits together so perfectly like a jigsaw puzzle. There's real satisfaction in that. As strange as that might sound to people who aren't into planning, that is what appeals to me about the no white space plan with me's. But if you use these stickers, you're going to have a lot of white space because it doesn't gel together in the same way. I don't think they were meant to. If you look at the examples that they have on their websites and stuff like that, it is supposed to be a little bit more, say, I don't know, organic, if that makes sense. I feel like those sort of plan me's are more organic when you do have a lot of space everywhere. I'm going to just do this. Put this one here and have it overlap a little bit. That's okay. There we go. Cool, Friday's done. All right, we are on to the weekend. And as I was flipping through, I actually did see some weekend banners. Ta-da! This is like a weekend page, I suppose. I have no idea if this will span two boxes nicely. What I'm gonna do, actually, is I'm gonna take my washi tape and I'm going to put down a little bit of washi tape here and then I'll put the weekend banner over that because, my f because the problem with this one and you can't really tell. This is not actually 
white sticker paper. This is clear, so all these stickers are going to be a little bit transparent. And if I try and put it on that black labeling at the top, even if I white it out, I don't think it's going to look good. I think it actually might look pretty messy. So I'm going to attempt to do it this way instead. Good enough. I'm going to put this one right in the middle. Oh my gosh, you might not even... Oh no, you can. <laughs> Depending, I was just like, I put it down, I'm like, you cannot even see it. But if you f reflect it a little bit, you can. I might actually put... This is really thin, so I'm thinking I might not actually use this one. I don't need two layers of washi tape for this then. Actually, I'm going to pull this one up. It just saddens me a little bit. And then I will put just this in the middle. Uh, yep. My assumption was right. It doesn't actually reach to the ends. It kind of has gaps on the sides, so I'm kind of glad I went with this decision instead of trying to cover the top bar. Okay, this weekend I don't think we have any plans to see anyone, which is good because it means that we can get a lot of stuff done. So I'm going to throw down two to-do lists. Okay, I'm not sure when it stopped recording because my camera never tells me when it stops recording. Camera, why? Why do you do this? I put down this quote box, list maker's gonna list. I just, I saw it and I was just like, this speaks to me on so many levels. I have so many lists everywhere and I need to have a proper plan on how to plan out those lists. <laughs> it sounds so silly when you need a planner to plan out your plans. I'm gonna wipe this one out and put down this and then underneath it I'll write kind of like a manual list. Yes. Okay, so I think for the most part I've done. I definitely need to go over this again and finesse it. Probably whilst not trying to speak to the camera at the same time because I apparently can't do both at the same time. It stresses me out just a little bit. I still have the left hand side. I have this feeling that I will not be able to find a hydration sticker. Actually, I can kind of do a makeshift weekly thing. Okay. These checklists have seven items on them, so I can actually make this like a daily checklist sort of thing. I'm just trying to figure out what header to put on them. I'm going to put down a little... Mm, this is not going to fit nicely, I can already tell. Okay, I'm just going to roll this up. I'm going to put this one just directly underneath. And have that kind of overlap it a little bit. Oh, I kind of like that, that's not too bad. Then I'll put a second one down. So I'll do one for hydration, one for steps. Put a nice grey one down. And I'll leave just a slight gap. Feels like this is going a little crooked. I have nothing that represents steps in terms of like a header. So I'm going with this one. Note to self. Actually, that doesn't even fit. You know what? I'm just going to leave it as that. Personal, I think, can represent hydration and that, and I'll just put this down here, actually. Alright, I definitely need some time with this planner alone. Like, I thought that planning in general was difficult, especially when I, when I stopped planning with any sort of structure and I just kind of went day by day. I used to think that was difficult to film, and that was, like, not difficult to film, but, like, difficult to tell you what I was doing at the same time I was doing it because sometimes I was just playing around to see if it would work or not. This was way more challenging. So I'm gonna stop filming. I'm gonna try and pull this together, still only using stickers from these two books, and I'll be right back. So I'm back, and this is the entire spread. I don't really know how I feel yet. It's still, it's not as cohesive as I'm used to, but at the same time, I think it was, I really enjoyed the challenge. Any additional stickers were from the booklets. I'm not planning to use any Etsy stickers, including for weather and anything else. So I even had to draw my own makeup brush. So that's one thing I actually kind of enjoyed about this planner, this particular planner for me, is that any of these blank spaces where I will eventually fill out what I'm going to do or what it represents, I'm gonna just draw the actual event itself instead of using a sticker. Thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to you internet.